Hello everyone. I'm absolutely thrilled to be here with you today to share something that has completely transformed my approach to family history storytelling. Now, whether you're just beginning your genealogy journey or you've been researching for decades like me, these seven AI prompts will unlock new dimensions in how you tell your family story. I do understand how meaningful it is to uncover your family's legacy. And today we're going to explore how AI can amplify your voice, not replace it, but truly enhance the stories you're already passionate about telling. Before we dive into our seven game-changing prompts, let me share why this matters. As genealogists, we often have incredible research skills. We can navigate census records, decode old handwriting, and piece together complex family puzzles. But sometimes when it comes to transforming all of that into compelling narratives, we can feel stuck. That's where AI becomes your co-writer. These seven prompts will help you. Recreate historical contexts, build character profiles, create timelines, generate interview questions, discover story angles, write immersive scenes, and craft compelling titles. Each of these techniques builds upon a traditional genealogy method while opening creative doors you might never have considered. Let's pause for a moment to reflect on what does make a family story truly resonate for our readers. It's not just the facts and dates, Although those are crucial, it's the human connection, the emotional threads that weave our past into our present. These prompts are designed to help you move beyond simply listing what happened to truly exploring why it mattered and how it felt. Whether your ancestors hailed from the Scottish Highlands, the Welsh Valleys, or the English countryside, or made their way to Australian shores, these techniques will bring their experiences to life. Let's recreate historical context. Our first prompt is absolutely foundational. One of the most powerful ways to honour your ancestors is to understand the world they lived in. This prompt helps you step into their shoes and see their world through their eyes. The prompt, can you describe what life was like in location during the decade, especially for someone who worked as a particular occupation, really does work. A practical example for you, can you describe what life was like in rural County Clare during the 1880s, especially for someone who worked as a tenant farmer. Why this works so beautifully? It sets the stage for your ancestors' life, adding layers of realism to your narrative. It helps you understand the challenges they faced, the opportunities available to them, and the social conditions that shaped their decisions. When you understand that your Irish ancestor was farming during the land war or that your Welsh miner was working during a period of labour unrest, suddenly their choices make much more sense. Building an ancestor's character. This is where the magic really happens. Transforming your ancestor from a name on a census into a living, breathing person with hopes, fears, and daily routines. This prompt will help. 
based on what I know about, put in the name, born in, put in the year, worked in, put in the occupation and the location, what might their personality and daily routine have been like? So here's an example that might resonate for you. Based on what I know about Sarah Johnson, born in 1890, worked as a school teacher in rural Kentucky, what might her personality and daily routine have been like? You could try that for yourself. Why this transforms your storytelling? It helps you move from the facts to a living, breathing portrait of your ancestor. This is ideal for creating narratives, engaging your readers, and connecting with them emotionally. Remember, you're not making things up. You're using historical knowledge and social context to paint a realistic picture of how someone in their circumstances likely lived. Next, we'll create a life timeline. Organisation is crucial in genealogy, we know that, and timelines help us see patterns, gaps and turning points that might otherwise be missed. The generic prompt here, create a timeline for, put in the name, who was born in, put in the year, put in the location, highlighting both personal and historical events that may have affected their life. Here's an example you could try. Create a timeline for Thomas O'Connell, born in 1867 in Dublin, including major Irish events that may have impacted his life. Why this is invaluable? Well, timelines help you organise your ancestor's story visually and logically. They reveal gaps or turning points you might want to explore further. When you see your ancestor's marriage coincided with the major historical event or that they moved just before an economic downturn, new research questions emerge. Next, you may want to generate some interview questions for family members still living. This prompt is particularly powerful for those of you who still have those living relatives who knew your ancestors, or when you're preparing to interview family members about family traditions and stories. The prompt, give me 10 unique interview questions to ask a relative about put in a specific ancestor, family event or tradition, could be expanded into something like this. Give me 10 unique interview questions to ask my aunt about our grandfather's migration from Italy in the 1920s. Why this breaks through barriers. AI helps you move beyond generic questions like, tell me about grandpa, to specific story-rich inquiries that uncover the details that make compelling narratives. You might discover storytelling gold that might otherwise never be shared. Suggesting story angles. Sometimes we're so close to our family history that we can't see the most compelling aspects of the story. This prompt helps you step back and look at it with fresh perspective. The generic prompt, here are some facts about, put in the ancestor's name and their key details. What are three compelling angles I could use to tell their story? Expanding that to this prompt, here are some facts about Mary Davis, born in 1912, who became a nurse in World War II never married, an avid letter writer. What are three compelling angles I could use to tell her story? Now, why this opens creative doors? If you're feeling stuck on where to start, this type of prompt helps you see your ancestor's story from multiple angles and helps you define the emotional arc that will resonate 
most with your intended audience. Write a vivid scene. This is where we transform from genealogists into historical novelists, bringing our ancestors' experiences to life through rich sensory storytelling. The generic prompt, write a detailed scene imagining a day in the life of, put in your ancestor's name, event and time. Include sensory details and emotional tone. Expanding that, you could try this one. Write a detailed scene imagining a day in the life of Thomas O'Connell during the 1916 Easter Rising in Dublin. Why this elevates your storytelling? Remember, storytelling thrives on showing, not just telling. This prompt helps you write more like a historical novelist, creating scenes that readers can see, hear and feel. Your ancestors become real people rather than just names and dates. Find a story title. Never underestimate the power of a compelling title. It's often the first thing people see and it can make the difference between someone reading your family story or passing it by. The generic prompt. Based on this summary of my family history story, suggest five meaningful and emotionally resonant titles and insert your summary below. Expand that to this prompt. Based on this summary about a woman who left Scotland in 1850 and raised five daughters in the Australian bush, suggest five meaningful and emotionally resonant titles. Why titles matter? Titles will hook the readers and help you focus your narrative. AI can help generate fresh options based on metaphor, emotion or central themes that you might not have considered. As we wrap up today, I want you to remember this beautiful truth that stories connect us across generations, weaving our past into the present. These seven prompts are your tools for honouring your ancestors by telling their stories with the depth, respect and creativity they deserve. Whether you're researching Australian pioneers, Scottish crofters, Welsh miners, or English merchants. These techniques will help you transform your research into narratives that truly matter. Your next steps? Choose one ancestor whose story you'd like to develop. Start with prompt one to establish the historical context and work through the prompt systematically. Remember that AI is your co-writer, not your replacement. I understand how meaningful it is to preserve and share your family's legacy. These tools will help you do exactly that. Creating stories that will be treasured by your family for generations to come. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I can't wait to see the amazing family stories that you create.